get to God's heaven without Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Have a good day, sir. You too. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Most everybody wants to go to heaven. But not everybody gets to go to heaven. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction in many. Go thereat. But straight is the gate that leadeth to life in the few. And the world will say, everybody goes to heaven. But not everybody goes to heaven. Despite what the world says. There is a hell. And without faith and belief in Jesus Christ. Hell will be your eternal home. And you need not to go to hell. It's simple not to go to hell. Because right now, if you have never put your faith and trust, in Jesus. Right now you're going to hell. You're lost. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. And you can be lost in church. You can be lost in religious practices. But you will not be lost in faith and belief in Jesus Christ. You cannot believe the deception of the world and Satan. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to heaven and go. You can't wish your way into heaven. You can't Hope your way into heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation is of God. And the salvation of God is God. The Lord Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus saved. Jesus is the only salvation and without Jesus Christ, you're not going to heaven, though you say, I'll go to heaven. It's not your say. It's not your church say. It is what God has said. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Many 
people have and will die and be amazed that they woke up in a place called hell. They thought they were doing okay. They thought of this. They thought of that. But they did not believe. They were taught. They were trained. They were deceived. And the devil in the world will have you to be deceived. That if I do X, Y, and Z, that you get to heaven. That you do not do X, Y, and Z to get to heaven. That going to heaven is a doing and a merit of Jesus Christ suffering and dying on the cross according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. If your faith and belief is in Jesus Christ alone, then you will die and go to heaven. If you have never believed and have faith in Jesus Christ alone, you will die and go to hell. If your salvation's in church, going to church, a membership in church, there are people in hell who have those qualifications. There are people in hell that went to church, a membership of church. There are people in hell that are priests and pastors, and deacons, and trustees, and ushers in hell. There are good people in hell. There are wonderful people in hell. But there is no one in hell that put their faith in trust in Jesus. You cannot have for salvation Jesus and Mary. Mary can't save you. Mary has no salvation or saving power. Mary herself was a sinner. Mary is not the mediator between God and man. The Bible says there is one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. Mary can't qualify. She's the wrong sex. And if your trust is Mary, then you have been deceived. And you won't get to heaven through Mary. You can't get to heaven through Mary. Allah can't save you. Allah is not a God of salvation. Allah is a God of bloodshed and murder and deceit and lies. 
That's the same characteristics of the devil in John 8, 44. Allah is the name of Satan, just an alias. Allah promises you virgins. But that's a deception. Allah can't save you. Only Jesus Christ alone can save. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Allah will be in hell with all the Muslims that followed Allah. They've been deceived by Satan. Satan wants to fill hell as much as God wants to fill heaven. And God's salvation into heaven is through the blood and the finished work of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The precious blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us, can cleanse you of all sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The difference between God and Jesus and Allah. Allah drives you to hell. Jesus takes you to heaven. The difference between Jesus and the Catholic Mary. Mary takes you to hell. Jesus Christ brings you to heaven. There's no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. There is no reincarnation. And reincarnation means you come back as a cockroach and somebody step on you. Once you die, you go to heaven or you go to hell. And you go to heaven by Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you go to hell. Salvation of God has been set by God, settled by the Word of God. Through the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the Scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no other in salvation. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That if you want to go to heaven, you come only through Jesus Christ. If you want to be approved by God, approval of God is through the finished work of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ that pleased God. It is Jesus Christ that went about the will of God. It is the life and ministry in the blood of Jesus Christ that was God approved. It is Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of salvation. It's only through Jesus Christ you can be saved. And when you reject Jesus Christ, you are rejecting 
God. And when you reject God through Jesus Christ, you're not going to God's heaven. God is not into religion. Satan's into religion. Satan's got all kinds of religion. And God has one. One sacrifice. One means. That was upon Calvary's cross. That God suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God is the only way that's going to get you to God's heaven. And you cannot ignore God. You can't think, well, my religion is greater than yours. You can't say, well, I'll just reject God. There is no God. You can't say, when I'm dead, that's it. I just lie. No, that's, that's a heresy according to the scriptures. That's a very great, great gamble to take that I'm going to chance life after death an atheist has no proof has no written proof that there's no God that everything that is here is an accident. Life is an accident, is a great gamble to make and to take and to rest upon. When the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God, Evolution has no written proof. And when you go to a museum, the bones of T-Rex are not all the bones of T-Rex. Metal and plaster and... And yet the Bible is the very sure word and if the scriptures are correct, atheists are deeply in error. And people in religion have been deceived. And I'll tell you one way people in religion have been deceived. Sunday morning, Oh, we're in the house of God. We're in the house of the Lord. No, you're not. In a, you're in a building. That building is not Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is only of Jesus Christ. And that's it. The only people in heaven are those that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. You cannot and will not get to God's heaven without God, Jesus Christ. You will come short. And when you come up short, you will fall. 
because you have not crossed the bridge of salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. You cannot and will not ever find yourself in a holy and righteous place without the holy and righteous sacrifice and the blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Jesus said of himself, I am Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Church is a body of believers through Jesus Christ. Church is never a building. Church is an assembly of believers of the faith and trust in Jesus. And the only way you can go to church is through Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you can't go to church. And church can't save you. It may deceive you. And there are people, well, I said a prayer. You can say all the prayers you want. And if you prayed without faith in Jesus, you're lost. And going to a devil's hell. Salvation is to believe. Believe on Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth. Shall be saved. You don't go anywhere. You don't do anything. You believe, and you believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. You believe that Jesus is the only way. You don't include other gods. You don't include other works. It's not Jesus and your charity. It's not Jesus and I'm a good person. It's all by Jesus Christ. It's all in the merit, in the finished work of Jesus. And without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. Because you don't go to hell by faith and trust and belief in Jesus Christ. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The only cleansing of your sin, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, the only cleansing of sin is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Through the word of God, you can only get to heaven through Jesus. By the precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot. God's heaven is through God himself. And God himself is Jesus Christ. And through Jesus Christ alone are you able to be saved. 